What I'm interested in knowing is, and I'd like to plant this thought in your mind, is why do you think, uh, for what reason, theologically or morally, would God permit this degree of difference? I mean, for example, in the case of the earliest and most important Islamic division, that between the, the Shiat Ali uh, and, the, and the Sunni world, that is not analogous to the uh, Catholic Protestant Reformation or that big split, which whose 500th anniversary is coming up next year, 15, 17 to 500 years ago, those uh, theses were nailed on the uh, church in Wittenberg in Germany. It's not analogous because the Shia Sunni difference actually is um, fundamental to Islam. Uh, in my view, it's a great tragedy that it happened because I think it permanently has ruptured the unity of the Islamic world and other theological puzzle as to why that has happened. It's interesting that in the New Testament, in the Gospel of John, Jesus as high priest prays for the unity of his people and that prayer is not granted it seems, judging by the degree of denominational diversity in the Christian faith. And I noticed uh, ever since I was a young boy attending Friday prayers that there were countless prayers addressed to God from the from the minarets of countless mosques asking for praying for, div for unity of the Muslim world. And obviously those prayers have not been answered because in fact on the contrary the diversity and bitterness seems to be increasing. So that's the deeper question it seems to me. And in the case of the Shia uh, the, the, the Shia Sunni distinction. Uh, unfortunately, this distinction, this bitterness, has increased in the last, uh, say, 25 years, with the emergence of, you know, Shiite Islam as a major political power in the world. Now, I am actually myself a Sunni Muslim, and it is my considered opinion, although it will obviously appear to you as being sectarian, that uh, Sunni Islam is the most ecumenical version of Islam, because it does, to some extent, take account of certain aspects of Shiite history meaning it accepts that there's a legitimate grievance in some of the shameful actions of some nominal Sunnis and what they did to the Prophet's line in 680 on that shameful 10th of Muharram. But this obviously as a concession is not enough to satisfy Shiite sensibilities, so therefore the rift continues. Some very distinguished uh, Shiites, such as the late Imam Ayatollah Khomeini, did have a, a Wahdat movement, a unity week, you know, where he wanted to promote the idea that we can talk through our differences. But obviously the theological differences that have developed are quite profound. 